I don't think he will. And if he did, I think he would be crazy and in conflict. If he did, I think he would immediately demand Russia quit the Club of Civilized Nations. Russia would be put into a kind of cryogenic economic freeze. And I think he would lose a lot of the kind of middle ground of global, a uh, tacit acquiescence that he's had. It would be a total disaster for his country. So the current economic punishment that the West has been able to dish out would be greatly intensified. I mean, if you look at Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, and Lula, for example, who was just elected again, you can also look at South Asia. There is a great deal of willingness to give Putin the benefit of the doubt because, in the event that he does anything similar, he will lose the support of the Chinese and, most importantly, provoke an absolutely hysterical response in his own country. Deborah Haynes, our security and defense editor, will be here this evening and will be joining me from Westminster. Deborah, what did you think of that? Boris Johnson said that Vladimir Putin's decision to break the nuclear taboo and launch a nuclear weapon on Ukraine would have a catastrophic impact. Although he did emphasize that he does not believe Putin would do that, the president has made no secret of the fact that he is a nuclear power, and concerns have been growing that backed into a corner with his troops doing so badly on the ground. It's possible that he would use a nuclear weapon, but as Boris Johnson pointed out, the reaction would be severe, not only from China and his allies, but also from countries in the middle who aren't sure if they want to support Putin or not, and most especially from Western nations. The West would have to retaliate, which would escalate the war to a new and deadly level, as the Prime Minister or the former Prime Minister apologize. And Deborah, do you have any understanding? How the West would respond in the event of a catastrophe the majority of Western allies have maintained a policy of deliberate ambiguity regarding their response. They have stated that there would be severe consequences and suggested that there might be a physical response that could involve military troops from NATO. Although France is one of the three NATO powers with nuclear weapons, it is not part of the French nuclear deterrence and is an independent nuclear arsenal. However, the French president recently stated quite clearly that France would not retaliate with its nuclear weapons if Vladimir Putin used nuclear weapons in Ukraine or the region. Clearly, no one wants to talk about the possibility of a direct nuclear retaliation from France, but clearly defining a red line like that may not be helpful given that the United Kingdom and the United States his remaining allies have purposefully withheld specific responses. 